you've got a slide, slide nine in your packs. You've got a slide nine in your packs, which talks about these reasons. And we've just talked through that. Perhaps that um, this bullet point here is worth having a look at. Consideration in the legal agreement. Okay, so what you're faced with doing is translating the offer into the shares value here. You're faced with doing that. And I suppose the question is why? Why do we end up with a lower number in a legal agreement? Well, there's a couple of reasons why we might end up focusing on that lower number. What we were hearing uh, at the start was that all the way through the process, before it gets to the legal guys, we're focusing on this high valuation number. We've just, we've just heard some reasons why why we focus on that. But suddenly, when we come into the documentation, we're focusing on a small number. Is there any good reason for that? Well, assuming in the UK, we have a transaction tax, which is calculated on the size of the deal. So suddenly, the incentive switches from everybody wanting to focus on a big deal to everybody wanting to focus on the smallest possible deal to get the transaction tax down as low as possible. Do you have transaction tax here? Capital gains tax. And you have capital gains yeah. tax as well, and that's another good reason. Okay, the capital gain, we've got the smallest number possible. The tax lawyers will be advising us, smaller the better, because that lowers the capital gain. So there are two reasons there why we go for that small number in the documentation, perhaps a transaction tax or capital gains tax. The two reconcile anyway. We've seen that. We can go from left to right or right to left.